Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tale reading for all of my Geminis who are watching. So if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Gemini, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, Gemini. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. And if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started, please, for Gemini. Very first card to come out is the Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know here with the Ace of Pentacles, please, for my Geminis? Also, happy Gemini season to all my Gemini sons watching this. We have the Chariot, Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot. What else when it comes to love, please, for Gemini here? Okay, let's go ahead and take from the top here. Three of Pentacles came out, Gemini. Four of Pentacles was also at the bottom or underneath. So perhaps some of my Geminis are moving or not moving away from, but you're independent or you're independent still. You're remaining independent, but there's someone you're you're sharing your independence with, of course, to an extent. And I'll get more into that energy, but we have three of Pentacles. What else? Do we need to know about Gemini, please? Ten of Pentacles here. Following the Ten of Pentacles, one more card for now. Okay, Nine of Swords. Let's go ahead and clarify this Nine of Swords energy really quickly for Gemini. What do we need to know about the Nine of Swords? Okay. Page of Wands came out, so we'll go ahead and move Ten of Pentacles up there. Nine of Swords, Page of Wands in the Judgment card. Okay, Gemini. So let's go ahead and begin. We have Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, Three of Pentacles, Gemini, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Page of, page of Wands, excuse me, Nine of Swords, Page of Wands, Last but not least for now is the Judgment card. All right, Gemini. So I do feel like this is regarding someone you're getting to know currently. Could be someone new coming into your life, Gemini. I feel like that Four of Pentacles energy that I did show, I, I feel like that's the energy you're embodying where you're keeping your resources, your materials, um, your tools to yourself, Gemini, because... Not everyone deserves to have that. Perhaps you have been guarded off here um, from love, from other people. Putting yourself first, because that's what you should do, Gemini. So putting yourself first, but sometimes when we are guarded, we can be overprotective to the point where we block other people out. And some people need to be blocked out, but some people are good to let in Gemini. So I feel like that is perhaps a change that you're sorting through in your life here because this Three of Pentacles energy implies that there's someone wanting to help build and secure and lock in what you have, Gemini. They want to expand with you. They want to work together. They want a fair trade. They want teamwork. They want to establish things with you. They want to work together and they're willing to do that, their own part here. So it's like learning to become less guarded here because someone else has your best interest at heart. Someone else wants to protect you and shield you. 
someone else believes in your goals and your dreams and they want to do what they can to make it possible make it happen together so we have the ace of pentacles i feel like trust is being embedded between you and this person and actions definitely matter the actions are paving the way for the trust the liability the reassurance the security so we have the ace of pentacles and this person isn't hesitating in achieving these dreams these goals that you two both share and these dreams and goals ten of pentacles energy that happily ever after long-term stability a family life happy happy spouse happy life however the saying goes rules not specific but ten of pentacles they they want to feel comfortable with you they want to enjoy um the seeds that they've laid down with you gemini and watch everything become everything multiply from it here so this person is ready to go and i feel like this is someone who is i'll say emotionally available to proceed to make it happen to make things further but gemini i do feel like there is still a blockage here because we have the nine of swords you could be feeling this i feel like it's about a truth that needs to be set free something that has been weighing on your shoulders maybe something that you've been harboring for a long time and it's like you have gotten so used to taking care of yourself gemini or maybe shutting other people out because of the hurt, because of the trauma, whatever the reason might be, that it it's just harder to let someone come in. So let's see what we need to know about this judgment card, please, for Gemini. Let's clarify the judgment card. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Gemini. Queen of Pentacles, what is relevant with the Queen of Pentacles and with the rest of what we have, we also have the full Aries energy here. What's coming towards Gemini, we have the full card, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Last but not least, for my Geminis, what else, please? All right. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. So, Gemini, following the Judgment card, Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Temperance. So, as mentioned, I, I said I feel like something needs to, something is still on someone's mind or on someone's chest and I feel like it's to the point where you have all this good in front of you but you keep focusing on something that may feel like it pinned you down or it pained you or it made things change ever since the moment it took place Gemini so you could be thinking about this a dark cloud over your head here but it's like you know what you have to look forward to with this new person, this new person who wants to be patient with you, who wants to understand you, who is working towards the same thing you're working towards. So I feel like surrendering here is very important, very crucial, and it could be so hard to do because surrendering can just be paying attention to the present but yet your mind is focused on things from the past or what could happen, the fear of the unknown here, but just trusting, trusting that you're where you need to be, Gemini. And I, I feel like you need to just pay attention to how you feel because your emotions can tell or lead the way or help you understand, of course, being their emotions. But it's like if this person makes you feel at ease, they make you feel grounded, they, they take care of you, um, they make you feel comforted, they make you feel at peace, Gemini, that could be an indicator that you're going in the right direction. So I do feel like 
taking that leap of faith with this person, just trusting that if this feels right for you, then this could be the right thing to do. And surrendering, once again, focusing on the present moment. You don't know what the newness will take or where the newness will take you or what it all holds, but there's so much more out there, Gemini. And I, I feel like also with the judgment card, in order to communication is key and to just express how you feel and get it off your chest that a conversation or words need to be exchanged here. This could be to yourself, Gemini, say journaling or venting to someone or venting out loud, but also maybe this person. This has been on my mind for some time. It doesn't have anything to do with you, but at the same time, it it kind of scares me from moving forward. As always, roles could be reversed, so I'm talking about your feelings, Gemini. It could be this person's feelings, so however it may resonate, but in order to walk into this new chapter, hey Gemini, so welcome to the second half or the last little bit of your reading. Unfortunately, the video stopped where it ended before this next clip, so let's just get back into it. So I was saying with the Page of Swords, Gemini, it's like you may have something that is an uncomfortable conversation that you want to get off your chest. Of course, please take what resonates for you, but it's like an uncomfortable conversation in order to get comfortable. Sometimes it starts out with being uncomfortable, but once you push through it, once you break that barrier, you break the ice, then you feel a bit more at ease and things become more seamless here. So Page of Swords and that Knight of Pentacles after this conversation or you releasing with that judgment card energy, what you need to release here, Gemini, I feel like that's that is what is really going to pave the way between you and this person in order to build this foundation here or to fulfill the potential that this connection has. Then we have the temperance card. So I wish the original clip saved because I, I did use a really good metaphor for this, but it's like the, the past has happened, the future is yet to come. What can we do with the past? We can reflect, we can take from it, we could turn our losses into lessons, but other than that, we we have to move forward. And also, Gemini, with the temperance card, it's like there is beauty in where you're at now because the alternative option is still considered the unknown because it did not happen for, for us or it did not happen to you, Gemini. So the beauty within where you're at, you are at right now, you may have dodged so many bullets, you dodged so many other um, unfortunate memories or experiences, you just never know what, what that other option holds. So basically with the Temperance card, Gemini, I feel like this is reassurance in you are being divinely guided, you are right where you need to be. And this person wants to reassure you of that. And if anything, they want to take their time with you, make the time also with you, Gemini, to understand you better, for you to trust them naturally or uh, sincerely, authentically. All right, Gemini, I do hope that resonates. As always, let's go ahead and receive some signs. We do have Cancer, Chariot, Energy, Aries. Cancer, Aries, last but not least, is Virgo. All right, so Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.